Plex Wave. Hey, your ice cream duper here, and welcome back to more Midway's Arcade Treasures for the GameCube. And last time, we went through the two Joust games, Joust and Joust 2 Survival of the Fittest. The fittest. Fit. Not fit. Fit. But, this time, I'm gonna stop this. Um, we're gonna go through two different games. Clax, which is a weird game where you have to control, um, little colored tiles and make sure that you make, like, towers. It's weird, but I'll show you the demo. And then Marble Madness, which is a kind of like a maze game. You have to go through mazes as a marble. And, uh, yeah. So I'll play through these games. And I'm gonna start with Clax by going through the option. Going through the history. There's nothing other than interviews. Clax was a game which um, management approached us, um, I don't know what, in, in, in late summer, and said we needed the product for um, for the, uh, the January show. In, uh, that sounds very interesting. Um, oh, wow. Maximum number of players, two difficulties on medium. All right, let's just get into the game. Flip, and then that's it. I was prepared for that. If you weren't, I am apologizing for that. Clax, copyright 1989. So this is right before the 90s showed up. I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Best per credit average. And then the highest score. So per credit average is if you use continues. Like if you use two continues, then you get... like. Two, if you use one continue, like you put in another quarter to continue and get, you get the exact same score that you did before, then it'll be, um, the same. But if you got, um, let's say, I guess only, if you got 200%, so, like, basically what happens is you, you got a score of, like, 100,000, okay, then... You, um, you lost your lives, and then you go to continue, and then you get 200,000, so that's double. Then your on-credit average would then go to 150,000, because that's the average of what you get. But this is how you play the game. And also, there's an announcer that'll, um, also explain how this game works. Dink. Could have gotten twice the amount of points for getting the diagonal. But of course the demos can't be good. Press A, or excuse me, start. Please select a wave. 1, 6, or 11. Also, I like the little hand motion. How to play. Get three in a row. Vertically gets you 50 points. Horizontally gives you 1,000 points. Not 500 to 1,000, 50 to 1,000. Diagonally for 5,000 points. Clack you must get three claxes. A clax is, is three tiles of the same color in a row. You can press down to make them show up earlier. Crap, and like complete realization that I should probably do that. Bam! Bonus points! You must get five claxes. The paddle can hold up to just five tiles. Now they're faster by default. Whoops. Oh, no. There we go. Yes! Okay. How do I want to play this? Bad idea. Screw 
Now you're forced to get diagonals. Why did I do that? Okay. I have no idea what I think I am doing. There we go. That's probably what I was trying to aim for. No, he's just being a dink. Hey! BAM! Let's go. You must get 10,000 points. Oh, I missed what I was trying to go for. What I was trying to do was I was trying to, um, actually that wouldn't have worked anyway, so. You don't even need to know my plan, it wouldn't have worked. Okay, there we go. You had to press A. Alright, let's try it again. Okay, please, thanks. Get three in a row, you blah blah blah. Can I skip this? Thanks. Whoops. Bam, got it. Wait. Red, red. I might as well just do that. Oh no! Bam. I also like how the high score actually shows the initial, not just the score. So it's like, hey, this guy was able to be better than you. Hey. <laughs> oh wow. Thanks. Dink. Why did I do that? We have all these questions about life that we may just not get answers to. Because we're too stupid! Oh wait! Ha! Oh, that's not the end of it! Oh! Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shut up. Press button to continue. That's not gonna help. I think I'll do one more after I enter my initials, cause yep, do it. This game's very unique, I'll say that. It is the 90s and there's time for how to play. <laughs> okay, fine. Aha, uh -huh. I know what I I know what I can do. I do need another red for it to work. Ah uh, no. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. Yes! Yes! I knew I thought that that was going to work out. It was awesome. No! Ah, I could have done something cool.
cool. <laughs> okay. Alright. Thanks. Good enough. me to the left. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'll enter my initials and then I'll go to Marble Madness. This game, like, barely took up any time. Okay. Now I gotta wait. <clears throat> Alright, I'll step into the 90s with the official Klax t-shirt. Send check or money order only for eleven ninety five with a return address. California residents include appropriate sales tax. This would have been a pretty cool shirt to have. Not gonna lie. If you want to write that down for whatever reason, then there's your little time to do it. Alright, well that was Klax, and now it's time for Marble Madness. The Marble Madness logo. Along with the arcade board it was using. And this is the weird looking cabinet. Cell sheet. I didn't mean to press B. New from Atari System 1. Players compete in a futuristic marble race against time and dangerous obstacles to reach the goal line first in this spectacular new coin video experience. You're ruining my Call of Duty experience. <laughs> Your players will be crazy about Marble Madness. They'll be crazy about the high profits as well. <laughs> Smug face just... Oh. <laughs> the operator's manual. The back of the operator's manual. Very important. To create the graphics of Marble Madness and, and, the, other games, and the other games of the time... Atari games used a development system called the Picture Processing System, PPS. It took up a small room, cost $100,000, and featured a huge tablet with a 12 buttons digitizing puck, quote unquote, despite the technology, despite the technology, oh wait, there's a period, puck, unquote, unquote. Despite the technology, it could only draw horizontal or vertical lines automatically, and so diagonal lines had to be rendered by hand. Mark Cerny, creator of Marble Madness, was 17 years old when he joined Atari Games. To create the graphics of Marble Madness and the other games of the time, Atari Games used a development system called the- oh wait. <laughs> I'm real- I am now realizing I am reading the exact same thing. <laughs> when I saw Puck in quotes, I was like, wait. But basically this game is, um... It's weird, alright. Finish race in this time. Warning, cliffs. Push one or two player start. Avoid delays. Bonus for remaining time. Troublemakers. Avoid delays. Warning, cliffs. Don't fall off them. Marble Muncher. And that was it. That was it. <laughs> Why? And then it just goes back. Okay, hold on. I actually forgot to do something. It saves. Um, let's see here. Oh. You have to set how many players you want? Why? Whatever. That's the credits noise. Alright, let's go.
Simple enough. Just a way to like tell you this is how you play the game. Now I gotta finish the beginner race. Which is basically like the actual first level of the game. NASA logo! Seriously, it looks exactly like the NASA logo. Oh no. Nice! Sometimes you have trouble with that ice, sometimes you don't. Intermediate race. This music kind of creeped me out um, as a little kid whenever I make it to this level. Which actually, before then, was not extremely often at all. Oh, come on! They kind of make an opening for you when you have the right timing. Okay, this is seriously starting to get on my nerves. It's so easy to get past these if you get the right timing. Okay, seriously? Let me buy- Are you serious? No, I'm going around. I'm not gonna be able to make it. Yeah, I'm definitely not making it. What? The game crashed. <sighs> and the game crashed. <laughs> Excuse me for one second. I'm gonna be trimming something out. But first I gotta fix this disc up. I'm gonna be trimming this out. Don't you just love how this is in Comic Sans, by the way? Okay. Fixed it. Should work. Oh yeah, it works! That was a weird anomaly that happened. Well, it doesn't matter, I died. Um, can I go back? Oh, I see. Oh, this is weird. You have to press diagonal directions. Oh, you have to press the start button. That's weird. I can't believe the game crashed. It's not really embarrassing, it's just, why? <laughs> also, when the disc was reading itself, it was like, It was like, freaking funny. I think it's because it was like having a trouble like reloading the song. It was like, okay, I'm gonna load you the song, but I'm not gonna be able to reload it for you, genius. Oh, come on. Okay, thanks. Oh, um, no, I don't want to. I don't want Marble Muncher to eat me. Ah! Whatever fairy wand thing just gave me extra time and. It's like, oh, I can give you extra time. I'm just gonna crash your game. <laughs> no big deal. I'm trying to press the, I'm pressing the B button to go slower. Which is actually kind of not helping me. I mean, kinda.
Oh no, please. Yes! This time I'm able to get past this part without feeling like an idiot. You could go there, but I like to just take this wired path. Then, of course, I freaking die. Yes! Before even the music has to restart, so I get to go here. Oh yeah, I had no idea how you were supposed to get past this part. Apparently, you have to write it down there. It's so weird. <laughs> and then I kill myself. Let's go! Time to finish the practice race. You have a minute to figure out how to play this game. <gasps> Big surprise, I finished it really fast. Time to finish the beginner race. But don't give me trouble here. Thank you. Ah, jeez. Okay, I'm over here. And if I'm showing up here, then I'm fine. Okay, I'm doing this much faster than before. Yes! I didn't even get melted by any of those. Nah! Thanks. I'm gonna try going this way. Oh, wow. Turn out easy. Just watch. Go through here. And then you land on here. And then you stop. And then you go down. Or, or you apparently kill yourself. Go! Yes! Time left. 900 again. Let's go again! Just went behind my. No, I don't wanna. No. So. Yes, please. Okay. There. Well, that was more of Midway Arcade Treasures and my game crash. That's great. I'm gonna have to trim that out unless they decide I don't wanna. But, um, that was Clacks and Marble Madness. More Midway Arcade Treasures coming back next time, and I'm pl gonna play two games I love Rampage and Paperboy. These games are great to me. I love these games. But tune in next time for when I play play that. And of course, this is Creepy Bro signing off. So stay tuned and take care. Bye.